Griffin Delapena back again for another weekly coach report here with Sohar Nuseve of the women's basketball team. Coach, it was an interesting weekend for you guys. You were supposed to play Thursday, that got canceled, then playing Monday against St. Peter's. As a coach, for you guys to come back for the second time this season, force overtime against St. Peter's, what are your thoughts on that game? Uh, incredibly impressed with the fact that our, our women were able to pull it out. Uh, I think with 40 seconds left, we were down seven in regulation. So um, for us to collectively find a way to take it into OT and then win it in double overtime after um, that long trip, I was really, really impressed. And here at home Thursday against Mount St. Mary's and that matchup again, now short rest in comparison to what you mostly deal with. How are you guys navigating that situation? Uh, you know, yesterday um, was a, a travel day back, um, but there was no physical activity. Um, so just taking a pause, um, being able to rest and recover was yesterday's game plan. And then today it's just really being a high focus day um, and just being ready for them for Thursday. And then on Saturday, senior day, you guys are the second youngest team in the country, which we just found out not too long ago. Uh, it will be a nice day for Vanessa, but collectively to end the regular season against Sienna. How do you guys want to send her off in, in the proper way? Yeah, well, Vanessa has been um, a fighter from, from day one, game one for us. So I think the way we honor someone like Vanessa is everybody stepping up and playing and coaching as hard as she competes and as hard as she's um, competed since she stepped foot here in Buffalo. So um, I, think, I think that's how we honor her and I think it would be great to uh, finish this season uh, with a dub. If we take a look at the beginning of the season and we take a look at now, how much growth have you seen in this year's team since then? A lot of growth. I think that happens when you have a young team. You know, I think the growth is exponential and you just said it, we've got one of the youngest teams in the country and um, at some point in the season we were tired of hearing that we were young and we decided to make some changes and I think um, where we're growing the most is we're learning how to hold each other and ourselves accountable to our standard. Uh, which is really exciting and it's, it's fun to see it um, start to come to fruition towards the end of the season here.